Hi, I'm Dr. Tom McClellan. I want to show you an example today of a volar wrist ganglion cyst. They commonly occur near the radial artery on the underside of the wrist following trauma, typically on an outstretched hand. You get a small tear in the joint capsule and joint fluid escapes. Your body builds a small shell around it and vents forming the cyst. You have to deal with the radial artery during surgery and this is a great example of how I identify the artery and how I dissect the cyst away from the artery. If you have any questions, please feel free to call my office or email and thank you so much for watching. As you can see here, here is the ganglion cyst prior to incision. I design a longitudinal incision directly over the lesion medial to the radial artery. I make the incision down onto the cyst, taking great care to not puncture the cyst until I've dissected around it. I use littler scissors spreading over the cyst. Small vessels are electrocauterized with a bipolar. And then my first maneuver is to dissect proximally to locate the radial artery proximally and distally. Using a right angle, you can see the radial artery is the blue structure. I go behind the radial artery in the vena comitans, and I pass a vessel loop, which will help with identification as well as traction as I dissect the ganglion cyst distally. It's impossible to really dissect these out without getting into them and as you'll see here I have the cyst rupture as I try to get around it. I take out all the fluid from the cyst by squeezing it and now it's a little easier to manage. And I can dissect distally right on top of the radial artery and then I come immediately along the flexor carpe radialis. Here you can see a small branch that's coming off of the radial artery proximally. I identify that. Go behind it with a right angle and I'll tie it with a small silk suture. I'll transect that small branch and then I'll look for the contiguous branch distally for the distal part. And it's common for small branches to go over or around or be intimate with the ganglion cyst. Here's the continuation of that small vessel distally. And I'll just use electrocautery to deal with the distal branch. Then I continue the dissection down onto the wrist joint itself. And as I get closer to the wrist joint, I'll dissect out the stalk of the ganglion cyst with the 15 blade. And then once I get the stalk all the way down, I'll take out a small window of joint capsule with the 15 blade. And the cyst is removed. I then let down the tourniquet and wash out with copious amounts of irrigation. I remove the vessel loop. And then I'll perform hemostasis with bipolar electrocautery. I place a 5-0 deep vicral stitch to bring the wound together. And I've tried all sorts of different ways of closing these wounds using monocryl in an interconticular fashion. However, I've, I think that the horizontal mattress suture with nylon sutures gives the best long-term closure. And here's the mattress suture going in. It takes a little bit longer to close, but I think you get a superior scar result. And here's the wound closed, showing good reapproximation and the cyst being excised. 